He created a creation to love. And he wants a bride, deep intimacy, a bride for his son. Now, I was teaching this at a church in Kenya, in Garasen on the Indian coast. Here's the church there. You can see it right there. And the woman there under the arrow, the yellow in the very front row, uh, she's sitting there. And I talked about this, that God wants a bride for a son. I said, Mama, let me ask you a question. They're all named Mama. Mama, let me ask you a question. She says, sure. I said, do you have children? Oh, yes, I have children. Are, are they older? Yes, they're older. Are, are they married? Some are, you know, going to get married. Do you have boys? Yeah, yeah. Are you looking for a bride for your son? Oh, yes, I'm looking for a bride for my son. I said, let me ask you a question. I said, do you want a mature bride for your son? Or do you want an immature bride for your son? She says, oh, I want a mature bride for my son. I said, I think that's what God the Father wants for his son. God just doesn't want a bride for his son. God wants a mature bride for his son. That's what God is looking for. He wants a mature bride for his son. Now, let me give you a news flash. If you've never heard this before, hear it now because it has great significance. Here's the, here's the news flash. We don't instantly mature when we die. Jesus encouraged us to mature. He encouraged us to mature. He did that in the parable about the sower. The disciples knew their goal and our goal was to mature as well. They knew that our goal was to mature. 